What is going on everybody? My name is Pete and you guys are watching Paid to Drive and Paid to Drive Vlogs coming at you once again. Proudly presented by PaidToDriveStore.com. Links in the description down below. Go check it out. If you drive for apps like Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats, or any of the others, you, my friends, are in the right place to stay up to date with what's going on in the gig economy. So get started right now for free. Hit that red subscribe button down below. Turn on all notifications so you're always notified whenever I post something new. And of course, if you wouldn't mind it, hit that like button down below. It just takes half a second and it lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. Leave a quick comment saying liked, L-I-K-E-D real quick, just so I know you did it. And let's jump into the topic, Triple Lindy Thornton Mellon style. All right, <clears throat> so I've been doing these videos lately where... I come up with a topic, I give you the topic, and I wait for your response and reaction in the in the comment section down below. Now, you guys see the title on the video, okay? That's probably why you're here. So, let me just make a quick disclaimer. Tony Shu, as of today, as of when I am making this video, is not stepping down as DoorDash, uh, the CEO of DoorDash, okay? But then Pete, why is it in the title? because this is a hypothetical situation, okay? A reaction and review kind of a thing, if you will. Kind of like the videos, some of the videos that I've made lately and they've had really great responses, but don't leave the video yet, watch the whole video, okay? The reason why I'm making this is because a lot of people have said over the years that the reason why DoorDash is as successful as it is, is because of Tony Shu, okay? But also, a lot of drivers and dashers have been saying that the reason why drivers get treated so poorly is also because of Tony Hsu, okay? Now, this isn't to do a whole history lesson on the man himself. The fact of the matter is this, him and a bunch of buddies, I believe from college or whatever, came up with the, the concept with DoorDash. They look at themselves as a technology company, not a food delivery company. They claim they are a technology company that connects customers with restaurants, which is what they do, right? However, we all know that at the end of the day, their bottom line is what is most important. That's what a business is. Our feelings, how we feel about the work, how we feel about how the, the job is done is very minimal. As long as they are turning profits, as long as they are getting orders out and delivered, that is what they care about most, okay? So let's look at Grubhub for instance, okay? Matt Maloney was the CEO of Grubhub for many years, but what was it? Last year or two years ago, he stepped down when Just Eat Takeaway merged or bought the company out. Why did he do that? Okay, kind of makes you wonder. Now the question is, will Tony Hsu do the same thing? Will he step down at some point and either say, well, I've made enough money or I've had enough of this, so I'm out. It's very possible at some point. Now, a lot of people are also saying, if Tony Hsu steps down, will that hurt DoorDash or will it help DoorDash? It's hard to say, can't really look into the future to see what's going on with that. But at the same juncture, right? If Tony Hsu leaves and a new CEO steps up, will that CEO possibly keep the dashers, the drivers in mind more, okay? Will it benefit the drivers more with a new CEO calling the shots? Now, as I said earlier, I would say Tony Hsu is primarily the reason why DoorDash is as big as it is. Because his thing was, I want to expand as fast as possible. I want to be in every city, in every town of America. And he's been doing a pretty damn good job of that, okay? There are plenty of towns and cities that still don't even have Grubhub yet. And that's the reason, in my opinion, why Grubhub is in last place out of the big three. Because it's DoorDash, Uber Eats, and Grubhub. For a while, Uber, well, actually for a long time, Grubhub was number one. And then DoorDash came in 20, late 2017, at least to my market, and totally swept up everything. And by the end of 2018, early 2019, DoorDash was number one. And then Uber Eats and Grubhub were battling it out. But now it's DoorDash, Uber Eats, and Grubhub. So, drivers, dashers, tell me in the comments or the chat down below. 
do you feel if Tony Hsu steps down as CEO of DoorDash, will it improve the company and make things better for the Dashers? Or will it bring the company down and make things even worse than they already are? Let me know down below. If you guys ever have anything you wanna share with me, a comment, a topic, a question, a story, whatever you got, send me an email, paidtodrivestories at gmail.com. <clears throat> it's the best way to reach me. Or for a quicker response, you guys can always message me through Patreon at patreon.com forward slash paid to drive. Links in the description down below or the pin top comment. So definitely go and uh, check that out. Uh, anyone who signs up as a patron, as my way of saying thank you, is I give you guys moderator privileges on my channel. And I also give you guys shout outs in all my new videos, which I'm gonna do right now. So when you hear your name called, say, hey Pete, I heard my name. All right, we've got John Birchfield. Oh, Ron Grubb, our tier five driver. John Birchfield, David Moore, Angela Counts McCarty, Brian Pomeroy, Sean Gibson, uh, Brian Medina, Heidi Barnes, Jimmy Santiago, Joe Valerio, Kurt Paul, Laura Love, Tulsa Todd, Agus, April Jewett, Alan G. Van Horn, Nick Gilroy, Drew Hanor, Todd Rosemith, Fernando Carranza, Frank Havilland, Fresh One, Jason Casta, Natalie Mosley, Sarah Keston, Scott Reisner, Sherry Cassidy, Stephen Neely, Tom Perry, Chadra Cowell, Brian Richardson, Kayla Quintero, Candace Mitchell, Joyce Hine, LaDonna Roten, Matt Epperson, Nick G, Stacey Miller, Terrence Pacheco, Valerie Brown, Rebecca Swenson, and Melody Long. So huge shout outs to every single one of you. Really appreciate you all. So yeah, if you guys want to sign up, Links are down below in the uh, pin top comments or the description. Uh, who's going to be the next patron? I don't know. Let's see. Is it going to be you? Let's see what happens. So moving right along, I hope every single one of you out there is saving lots of money on your gas using the free gas app called Get Upside. That link is in the description down below or the pin top comment. Uh, anyone that signs up uh, on Patreon, uh, not on Patreon, on Get Upside, you're going to love it. You click uh, on the link where it says get the free gas app. From there, it'll tell you how to install it on whatever kind of phone, tablet, or device you have. And then from there, what you gotta do is you go to your gas station, pump your gas, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside gas app, and within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside. Links in the description. Make sure to download it today. And of course, if you guys want to get one of these classic pay to drive shirts, they are available at paytodrivestore.com. Go and check that out. Links down below. We've got lots of brand new designs, colors, sizes, you name it. We probably have it on sale every day. Paytodrivestore.com is the place for you. Go check that out. And, uh, with that being said, if you made it to the end of this video, very grateful for all of you. Leave a quick comment saying end. 1048 END 1048 just lets me know you made it to the end of the video. Don't forget to hit that red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications so you're always notified whenever I post something new. <clears throat> and are all of you guys subscribed to my other channel, Team PTD? I post more pay to drive style videos on there. So definitely go subscribe. Links in the description down below or the pin top comment. Uh, definitely go subscribe uh, or do a YouTube search. Don't forget to hit, hit that like button down below. Just tells YouTube I'm doing a good job. Takes half a second. And leave a quick comment saying liked, L-I-K-E-D. And until next time, get that money, get that honey. Keep hustling, keep bustling. And we'll see you next time right here on Paid to Drive and Paid to Drive Vlogs. And as always, drive safe, be well, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace, everybody. Later.